Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show, where I'm very excited to have Jenny Terry here from Jenny Terry Fine Art. Welcome to the show. It's great to have you. Thank you. We're, uh, you and I are sitting here talking about all the really great things that you use for uh, your artwork. And I got to say, honestly, I, I'm not familiar with this type of medium. This is a little different than I'm used to. <laughs> You, you it is different. different. It is different. And a lot of people see encaustic in the galleries and all over the place, but they don't even know that what they're looking at encaustic. Yeah. So what is encaustic? Let's talk about it a little bit because there, as you said, a lot of people are certainly not familiar with it. Encaustic is a beeswax based medium and it's been around since ancient Egypt. Really? It's been around forever. And I usually say that Jasper Johns in the 60s popularized it again, mm -hmm. and it's been popular ever since. And wow. you take a walk on Main Street and you'll see encaustic painting in almost every gallery. That's awesome. So, so it's yeah. not just wax, there's a lot more to it. Yeah, so I just brought a chunk of beeswax because that's what it is. And then I brought some Damar resin. Damar resin. Which is a crystallized tree sap. Wow. And you take Very a little light. bit of, yeah. And um, I expect it's it pretty. to be heavy, but it's not. <laughs> so when you take, you take a little bit of Damar resin and a mm -hmm. little bit of, or a lot of beeswax, and you melt it together, and I get the, oops, I'm sorry. No, not at all. The raw medium. This is encaustic paint. Okay. And it wow. makes it makes the paint very very durable, very very hard. The biggest question I get with my paintings is, will it melt off my wall? Uh huh. <laughs> and no, it has a new melting temperature because of the resin of over 180 degrees. So it's not going to melt. No, that's good news. If it uh, <laughs> if it does melt, you better call the fire department. Right, because your house <laughs> is already on fire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is interesting. How do you get it onto the uh, the, the media or the okay. canvas? Okay. Yes, that's the next step. I have to melt the wax and so okay. I conveniently melt my wax in tuna cans and oh, yeah. little bottle tops. I and like things. that was interesting so the way you use those. Yeah, so it doesn't spread all over the place and uh -huh. um, uh, I take my paintbrush, a regular old paintbrush, and I dip that regular hot wax. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I use watercolor really soft bristle right. and I, I also use oil painting brushes as well. So you get them, you use hot water then or something no. you were saying. What were you saying as far no. as getting them hot? Oh, I have a griddle. I have a, griddle. a pancake griddle. Okay. <laughs> so the tuna cans are hot with the hot wax. It's liquefied. I, I stick, stick the brush in there and then I put it on the painting and it solidifies instantly instantly. Wow. So then that's another process with encaustic painting is after it's on the panel then I have to manipulate it even further with right. a heat gun or more heating tools or I scrape it, I stamp it, I embed things into the wax. Yeah, so let's it, talk about that for a minute. You've got a lot of things here that you put into wax. Yeah, like I don't coins know if I can. even? Yeah, coins. Wow. I have wire, paper. And what is this? this uh, these little. Strawberry seeds. Strawberry seeds. Yep. <laughs> wow. Little pebbles. Yep, those are from Hawaii, the glass beach. Oh, wow. And uh, jewelry, jump rings, beads. That's amazing. Yeah, so whatever I feel like putting into the painting, I you can add to I it. do it. And I love that's that. that's the biggest part of the creative fun that I have when I paint. Wow. And the tools are, are pretty amazing as well. Why don't you bring those this way and show oh, me a sorry. couple of things you have here. Okay. This is interesting. You've got a lot of metal, as you said, a lot of metal tools that you heat up and use. That's right. Metal tools because I have to heat them up on the griddle. Um, so then it melts the wax when I stamp into the wax. So interesting. Uh, these get really blistering hot, and I can stamp into the wax, make an impression. Dental tools. Dental even. tools. Really? I have leather tools. I have wood tools. Something to scrape with. I even have cookie cutters. I like this. This is my favorite, though. Can I? Can we talk about this? Yes. This is from a printing press. That's right. Um, wow. Back in back in the day when you did letter press. Uh, they had these magnesium pieces of metal. This piece that I brought today is to border 
an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. Wow. And so that's how, you know, they, the they printer would, a border, yeah. that's right. So now wow. I use it to stamp and texture my wax. That is really neat. Wow, <laughs> I love this. This is the, 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 the creative part of this as you go through it, the process it seems to be the most entertaining part, right? It takes a lot of time, but I love it. It's, I bet. it's very challenging. Now you're working out of a, a home studio right now. Right? I am. At where and where do you live here? You, you're here in Park City. Yes, I live in Jeremy Ranch. I've been here for 12 years. Wow, and your favorite uh, subject? What, what do you like to paint most? Oh, I love animals and landscapes. Sure. And Park City scenes. I am just absolutely in love with this town. I want to talk about some of those because some of these are our favorites. I mean, they're kind of everybody's favorite, really. The Egyptian theater. That's. Uh, such an iconic one uh, for sure and I love the color you've added to this this is a little different I am known for the most colorful um, depictions of Park City buildings see, and uh, things I can see why that someone would say that because I I really agree there's a brilliant uh, level of color there wow I love this this is another of my favorites this piece here this is the blue and this is spectacular this is the Main Street Deli and this is a big seller I bet. For, for me. I think it's because it's so familiar for everybody and all the tourists and, and the locals. Right. They, love, they love the Main Street Deli, so. Wow. You gotta have place. it. You're in a, now you're, you've been, what's fun I think is that uh, you're, you're still going to all of the, uh, you know, the, the Park Silly Sunday uh, events. Uh, I'm sure uh, and the Kimball the Arts, Arts Festival, Festival. Right. yeah, yeah. That's got to be a lot of fun. As oh, an it's it's just wonderful, and I yeah. have such support from the community. Yeah, you're meeting the people who are buying your pieces. Yes, and that's, that's essential. Yeah, a lot different know. than you know. If you're in a gallery, you don't always get that opportunity to meet people. That's but right. You you're get getting to that right up front and close. Yeah. Experience. So this is my biggest seller. Of course, it is. It's beautiful. And everybody loves the barn. And look at that color. Yeah, and so you look around town and the, the barn pictures are a little bit more subtle. Yeah. And so the I... The barns never looked this good. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> I went I crazy with the color, but I forced myself. It's like, no, I am not going to make this boring. I'm going to just pump it full of color. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's great. I love it. I, you know what? That's, uh, that's uh, fun when you can take that and, and get to add to your flavor, your, and your color in this case. That's My really style, yeah. Wow. I love the eclectic way that you uh, you put your... I mean, look at these up. little... Can I love this. Little lid. Just a little lid. Yep. For a little bit of color it's here. It's metals. Again, I can't use plastic lids or anything, but uh, this is how I contain my wax. And, and what's lovely about this medium is I can use it again. <laughs> oh, that's a good point, right? If I keep it like this, then I can use it again. It's a very expensive medium, so. I imagine it is. I mean, you're probably going through quite a few honeycombs. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Indeed. Wow. <laughs> well, if we want to find more of your art uh, and see some of the uh, things you're doing with cookie cutters and with all these <laughs> wonderful tools and what have you, where do we find your uh, pieces at? I have a website and it's jennyterryfineart.com. Okay. And I also have some things around town like Peak Art and Frame carries my prints and cards. Excellent. And I have the, the Main Street Deli in the Main Street Deli. That's great. <laughs> That's great. Now, uh, I imagine you do some commission work as well. If I people do. want something I done, do. you'll, you, you're happy to come and paint yes, whatever they like. Yes, I have a commission work right now, and it's five by six foot. Oh, my. But with a moose, a, <laughs> a big old moose. Then I'm going to also do another rendition of the barn. And that's Terrific. also a gigantic piece. Wow. And that has a blue, wintry theme to it this time. So oh, gee, I have a lot are, of good projects coming up soon. I can, I can see why, because these are just beautiful. And the way you've chosen to do them is so much about you. That's really terrific. Thank you. Thank you so very much for sharing with us. Uh, it's really a wonderful Jenny Terry Fine Art. Make sure you go on her website and look uh, to find more. And of course, uh, we'll see her at uh, all the arts festivals. I hope and so, And certainly yes. at Park Silly <laughs> Sunday. Much more to come here on the Mountain Morning Show. We'll be back right after these messages.